You shouldn't be talking about lighting in terms of wattage, and here's why. So let's talk about wattage just in general so that we understand what that means. When we say watts, we're talking about how many joules of energy is being transferred from one kind to another kind. That's all wattage is. It's just saying there's a certain amount of energy that the utility company is spinning in a generator and it's making electrons move in a circuit and it's being translated into light at the other side. So we're transferring energy. We can kind of say that we're consuming 60 watts in an incandescent light but that doesn't actually talk about how much light's coming out. So if you look at wattage and we say there's a 60 watt incandescent light bulb, what we're really saying is that this thing is converting or transferring 60 watts worth of power or worth of joules of energy. But did you know that only about one to 2% of the wattage that's used in that incandescent light bulb is actually the light? The other 98, 99% of it is all lost as heat. So that's why incandescent lighting is so inefficient because most of the wattage rating of that bulb is not the light. And it doesn't actually have anything to do with the brightness of the light. So what is lumens? Lumens is the way that we talk about the brightness of a light. And if we're gonna talk about like, I'm going to get a headlamp, you know, to work on a job site, do you want like a 400 lumen light or do you want like a 1500 lumen light? Nobody cares about the wattage, it's the lumens. So the lumen output is how much actual light. If you think about all of the light particles like photons coming out of a light, do you have like a kind of trickling of light coming out or do you have like Niagara Falls like light coming out. That's what you want to know about a light. I don't care how much energy is wasted trying to produce some light. I care about how much light is actually lighting. So when we talk about lighting, we should on the packaging be more focused on the big number on the package being the lumen output, not how much energy is being consumed. All lighting has like a luminous efficacy. So efficacy just means um, how many lumens are we getting out of this light? per watt that's being consumed. And if you have a higher lumen efficacy, which is just basically lumens per watt, higher lumens per watt means that you have a more efficient light. It's using less watts to produce the amount of light. So lumens is the key. For example, I've got two lights right here. They're uh, different lumen outputs and they have an inverse relationship between their lumens and their watts. So this light, the uh, Razor from NDR, has 555 lumens. It's a bigger light too, you know, it's a four inch light. This is a two inch light, so it's smaller, but it actually has more lumens, it has 700 lumens. So let's look at the actual stickers on these to see what it says. This light that has 550 uh, lumens output, it takes 10 watts of energy to produce that 555 lumens, whereas this light has nine watts, it's a smaller form factor, it actually consumes less power, but it produces 700 lumens. Now, it's not to say like either one of these is better or worse, every single light has its application, so sometimes the small form factor makes you have to design things a certain way so that you can get a certain lumen output, and sometimes you don't need the same lumen output. So that's just to say that the wattage doesn't really matter, it's the lumens that you care about, how much light is going to be produced from this thing versus how much light is going to be produced from this thing. And if you have a light that has like 30,000 lumens, you have to look at the application. You don't want a light like this to have 30,000 lumens right above your head. You don't want something that you might be putting into a cabinet to have like 6,000 lumens, you know, like certain lumen outputs are targets that are actually designed for the application. Imagine two different light bulbs, right? So say we've got an incandescent light bulb and an LED light bulb and both of them have an 800 lumen output, meaning they both produce the same amount of light. That incandescent could use 60 watts, most of which is just wasted as heat to produce that light, or we could have an LED that uses 10 watts. So you're paying for wattage when you pay for your electric bill. It's kilowatt hours, thousands of watts per hour. So it's calculating what your consumption is. So why would you wanna pay essentially pay for like a car that's leaking oil out of it as you're driving. You're just wasting everything and you're paying for it. So that's why having LED lighting is so efficient. So LED lighting is actually really hot too. Um, if you look at how efficient these things are, the amount of lumens that's produced for the wattage, um, I said that a minute ago, incandescent, we only get about one to 2% of uh, that energy that's used 
that turns into light and the rest is is heat. But CFLs, it's kind of the same thing. You're, yeah, you're at about 10%. The other 90% is still heat that's being lost. And then LEDs are more uh, efficient than that, but only about 20% of the wattage rating of an LED bulb goes to the light output. The rest is still heat. And we have these giant heat sinks around these LED bulbs just to manage and try to dissipate that heat. So there's still 80% of loss 80% of what we're paying for, the output, the consumption of that bulb is just wasted heat energy. But it's still, you know, 20 times more efficient than an incandescent bulb. So it kind of makes me think from time to time, like what's the next light source gonna be? Don't worry, I am working on it. So all of this to say, when you are choosing lights, there's a lot more things that you wanna know. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about color temperature and rendering color, CRI and things like that. Um, so just understand that there's a little bit more to know. Don't just say like, hey, I'm gonna go get a 60 watt bulb. That kind of matters in terms of like what size breaker and how many bulbs you're putting on a circuit. Sure, because you're trying to, trying to figure out when the breaker is gonna trip. But if you're actually trying to light a space or get into lighting design, you need to understand that there's a lot of different metrics that we understand light by, um, you know, the angle that spreads and how a room is lit versus it being maybe like a mono point where it points and, and lights a very specific area. There's a lot more to know than just watts. So love you crazy people. I'll see you in the next one.